This is London. 600 odd square miles of 1960s concrete and 8 million city slickers with terrible teeth. But there's also a couple of football clubs lurking about. Clubs that over the years have changed identities, left their stomping grounds for pastures new and shaped the capital as a footballing behemoth. But to understand how London's football landscape looks now, we need to head back to Victorian England and rattle through the history of the capital's current league teams. The first of the London clubs to form was Fulham in 1879 and at the time were known as Fulham St Andrews Church Sunday School FC. Two years later in 1881, on the other side of town, Glynn Cricket Club popped up. They went through a few name changes until they became the Mighty O's, Leighton Orient. In 1882, two of London's most recognised clubs were born, QPR and Spurs. Out west, QPR's first identity was St Jude's. At the same time in North London, Hotspur FC were formed, adding Tottenham to their name in later years to avoid confusion with another club called London Hotspur. 1885 saw the mighty Millwall created. They were shaped from the lads working at the Morton & Co Jam Factory on the Isle of Dogs. In 1886 in Woolwich, Dull Square were founded by the workers of the Royal Arsenal Armaments Factory. They became the Arsenal a few years down the line. 1888 was the year that Barnet were born. Be army! And only a year after that, Brentford were created during a heated meeting at the Oxford and Cambridge pub. Wimbledon FC also formed in 1889 as the Wimbledon Old Centrals. In 1895, Thames Ironworks FC were forged. They became West Ham in 1900. Ten years later, in 1905, two absolute C's entered the frame, Chelsea and Charlton. Chelsea were formed at the Rising Sun pub and quirkily aren't actually based in Chelsea, but in Fulham. In South East London, Charlton began their life as a youth team. Palace also arrived in 1905 and were created to play on the grounds of the Crystal Palace Exhibition Building that had been the venue of the FA Cup final since 1895. Right, that's that sorted. Let's blitz through 126 years of history as quick as possible. In 1901, Spurs win the FA Cup as a non-league team. In 1904, West Ham moved further east to make the beloved Berlin ground their home. In 1910, Mill will leave the Isle of Dogs and head for New Cross. It was probably a good idea to split them up. In 1912, Wimbledon moved to Plough Lane. In 1913, Arsenal will leave South East London and move to North London, only four miles from Spurs. A heated rivalry develops. Arsenal's move from Woolwich gives space for Charlton to flourish, who in the following years go from youth team to senior side. In 1917, after many moves, QPR finally settled at Loftus Road and in 1919, Nomads Charlton Athletic finally moved to the newly opened Valley Stadium. 1923 saw Old Wembley built and in 1924, Palace moved to Selhurst Park. In 1928, Arsenal and Chelsea become the first clubs to play with shirt numbers and seven years after that in 1935, Arsenal win their third successive league title and Brentford win the second division. In 1937, Orient leave Clapton for Leighton. In 1955, Chelsea win the league for the first time. Maybe they do have history. 1961, Spurs become the first club to do the double. 1966, West Ham win the World Cup for England. In 1970, Orient win Division 3. In 1988, after being non-league for the majority of their existence, Wimbledon's crazy gang win the FA Cup. In 1993, Mill will leave the old den for the new den in Bermondsey. And in 2000, Charlton win the first division. In 2002, an independent commission paves way for Wimbledon FC to be dissolved. AFC Wimbledon are born out of the ashes. In 2004, Arsenal go the league season unbeaten. Mill will qualify for the UEFA Cup after getting into the FA Cup final. And Wimbledon FC are relocated to Milton Keynes. In 2006, Arsenal moved to the Emirates. And in 2007, Wembley is rebuilt. In 2010, Fulham are the runners-up in the Europa League. In 2011, QPR win the Championship. And in 2012, Chelsea win the Champions League. In 2013, Barnet moved to the Hive Stadium. 2016, West Ham leave the Berlin ground for the London Stadium in Stratford and AFC Wimbledon win the second division playoffs. What does the future hold for London football? Will we lose Orient? Will Arsenal fall to League Two? Or will we see Millwall and West Ham become the best of mates? What do you reckon? Oh.